Today we're going to be taking a look at the Saris Glide EX Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack. It's available in blue with part number SA774BLU. It's available in black with part number SA774. And finally, it's available in bronze with part number SA774BRZ. This Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack glides away from your vehicle, allowing you access to your rear hatch. It easily glides back in place when you're ready to go. Compared to other bike racks that allow hatch access, in my opinion, this is one of the easiest ones to use. Some of the platform style four bike racks can take two people to tilt away. This one I can do by myself. It's gonna hold a wide variety of bikes. Here I've got a mountain bike, two road bikes. It'll also hold children's bikes, women's bikes, and bikes with alternative frame styles. Some bikes, like this one here, may require you to use a bike adapter bar to sit evenly on the cradles. Saris makes a bike adapter bar sold separately with part number SA3040. Unlike some other hanging style bike racks, the cable lock is integrated, it runs over our frames and prevents anyone from removing our bikes from our bike rack. I've gone ahead and removed some of my bikes so I can show you how it holds our bikes. It holds them with three points of contact. We've got two straps for our top tube and then one for our seat post tube. This is our anti-sway. It's gonna prevent bike-to-bike -bike contact and bike-to-vehicle contact. With all of our bikes removed, let's go over some additional features. All of our straps are a ratcheting style. Here on the inside, it features rubber nibs to better grip and protect our bike. They also pivot 360 degrees to fit the angle of your bike. The dual arms are 12 and 3 quarters inches apart from end to end. Keep this in mind when loading up your bikes. With this bike rack, you're gonna get great bike spacing. Compared to the five and a half inches we measured center on center of our cradles on some of our other bike racks, with this bike rack, you're gonna get six and a half inches. What that means is you're gonna have an easier time loading up your bikes. You're gonna have less of a problem with pedals and handlebars hitting each other. When not in use, the dual arms fold down for compact storage. Simply pull on the lever, rotate them down until they clip in place. Now this is ideal for pulling in your garage or in a tight parking spot. In addition to our cable lock, we do have a hitch pin lock. This is to prevent anyone from removing the bike rack from our hitch. It is keyed alike to our cable lock and two keys are included. It has a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike. It has an aluminum construction with molded plastic for a stylish design. It also features a limited lifetime warranty. Customers on our side compare this to the Thule Apex Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack, part number TH9025. While the Apex does tilt away from your vehicle, it cannot do so with bikes loaded like the Saris Glide. You will also get better bike spacing with the Glide. The cradles are an inch further apart than the Apex. The Apex cradles, however, do feature road dampening technology to absorb more road shock and vibration. The Apex is compatible with both vehicles and motorhomes, while the Glide is just intended for vehicles. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Now this is going to work with inch and a quarter or two inch hitches, and that's class two or three only. It includes a sleeve to work with our two inch by two inch receiver, which is already installed. Let's go ahead and load up. We can simply lift it up by the top handle and then brace it by the mast and plug it in to our receiver tube. Now we can line up our pinholes. We can take our included anti-rattle bolt, thread that through here on the driver's side. Once we get that hand tightened, we can take a three quarter inch wrench or a socket. You'll need to provide your own and we can tighten that down the rest of the way. Now the nice thing about this anti-rattle bolt is it's gonna help reduce all the play and rattle within your receiver and your bike rack to make a nice solid ride for your bikes. With it tightened up, here on the other side, we can take our lock and put that in place. To get it ready for our bikes, we'll need to raise up the dual arms, and we can do that by pulling up on the lever here, raising up the arms until they snap into place. Now I can undo the straps on my first set of cradles, and then I'll rotate the rest of my cradles out of the way to make it easier for loading my bike. Now it's recommended that you load up the heaviest bike first. For us, it's gonna be our mountain bike. Let's work our way to our cradles and then rest it in place. Now we want to be sure that our seat post tube meets nicely up with our anti-sway cradle. We'll go ahead and do that strap first.
And then we can do the two remaining straps on our top tube. I've gone ahead and loaded up the rest of my bikes the same way. Now we can run our cable lock. And then we can connect it here at the end. With all the bikes loaded up, we can go ahead and take it out on our test course and see how it performs. Here in our test course, let's first go into our slalom. This is gonna show side to side action, such as going around corners or evasive maneuvering. Now on to some speed bumps. This is gonna show us what it's like to hit some rough patches when we're on the road. And that's gonna complete our look, the Saris Glide EX Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack.